And Kelly, every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us great advice for do-it-yourself home improvements. Today, he talks about what you can do now to make your lawn look great in the spring. You know, fall is one of the most important times to take care of your lawn. I know. You're tired of your lawn, aren't you? You're tired of cutting the grass. You don't really care about your lawn. But you know what? What you do to your lawn today, or well, maybe not today, but this fall, makes a much better lawn in the spring when you are excited about it. All right, so tops on the fall list of things to do the lawn is core airification. Core airification allows the lawn to breathe. It controls the thatch. Back in the 70s, uh, when I was just a child, of course, uh, Everyone pulled up thatch and just pulling up the, uh, the, the roots and all the, the dead. Well, that, a lot of that's normal. About a half inch of, of thatch is normal. This controls it. So now the problem is, yes, we've had some beautiful fall temperatures, but we haven't had much rain. And to do core aeration properly, it needs to be wet. Now this is, I ran this aerator over the top of the lawn. See how short the plugs are? So it's really not pulling out as much as it should. An aerator has these little tubes and ideally, you want about a couple inch tube. You know, you want that to come out of there. So on a dry lawn, it's a little bit tough to do that. So you have to be careful. You may want to, if you have a sprinkling system or if you can water the lawn before you do it, that would be ideal. But you have plenty of time to do this. So core aerification, very important. You know, maybe uh, rent a machine with your neighbors uh, that has maybe some high school kids that can haul the thing out. It is rather heavy, so, but not bad. Grass seed, unfortunately, it's a little too late to plant grass seed. So, so for a few folks that aren't going to believe me, uh, instead of, and you're still going to plant it, don't use Kentucky bluegrass. Kentucky bluegrass, the germination rate is almost uh, 14 to 28 days. If you're actually going to do it, get a turf-type tall fescue, a fine fescue, or a turf-type rye. Uh, but again, did I mention, it's too late to plant grass seed. All right, but plenty of things to do to your lawn with fertilization. Two applications of fertilization in the fall, one in uh, September, one in November. Now, you might see, look at this one, everyone's advertising, this is fall lawn food. Well, guess what? Fall lawn food is the same as spring lawn food. So don't be, if you already have some lawn food, just a plain fertilizer, this is step four, step three, anything that has lawn fertilization, you can use it in the fall. So if you don't have any, if you wanna buy the bag that says fall, awesome, no problem. Uh, great time to kill weeds because the movement in the plants are down towards the root. So you get more of a complete control. If you're doing a dry weed killer and fertilizer together, remember the grass needs to be wet, number one, so that the weed killer will stick. What I don't like about it, do you have lawns or do you have weeds over 100% of your lawn? Probably not. So you're probably using more weed killer than you need to. So that's why I like to use just plain old weed be gone because now I can go out and where I have a weed, I can spray just that. And where I have nice turf, I don't have to spray it. <laughs> and then I feel good about the environment. Okay, so also the other thing that is kind of in vogue that I really believe in there's products coming out. This is Love Your Lawn, Love Your Soil by Jonathan Green, and you'll find out this in a lot of garden centers and hardware stores around the city. But this treats the soil, and that's something that maybe we don't think about enough, really loosening up the soil. So this is kind of a, kind of a new thing. As a matter of fact, their program next year will actually have soil products as part of the program rather than just all fertilizer. So a lot to do. Leaves are sure you'll be raking them soon, but right now let's get down the fertilizer and take care of the weeds. Pat, thanks and happy Good Neighbor Day.